Honestly, I find it difficult to believe there is a tool that can animate images so perfectly, completely free and without any watermark. Take this 500 Naira, go to Mama Uche's shop and buy King's Oil. Yes, ma. I will come back quick, quick. A few moments later. Chica, is that the oil I sent you? They don't have King's Oil, so I bought Sunshine. I even used 50 Naira to buy Puff Puff. Eh? You used my change to buy Puff Puff. Chica, are you okay? But mommy, I was hungry. Eh. Mm. So, you are so stupid. Like seriously, just look at that. The lips move exactly with the voice, the expressions are so smooth and the video looks so real. So I'm going to show you exactly how to create videos like this step by step using this free AI tool. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to turn any image into a talking video perfect for animated storytelling content. And they are what? Monetizable. If it's your first time seeing my face, hi, my name is Delacro, you're welcome to the channel. Here I share videos on AI tools content strategy, and smart ways to grow on the internet. If this interests you, kindly hit that subscribe button and make sure you turn on the notifications. Whenever I upload a new video, YouTube will notify you, right? If you have any questions, kindly drop them in the comment section. And without any further ado, let's get right into it. First of all, we need a script. I will come to ChatGPT and we'll paste this. You can just write something like this. Create scenes for a woman who sent a child on errand, but did not deliver it accordingly. The woman is angry and then I say put it in form of dialogue. So it's not going to be in form of narration, it's going to be in form of dialogue. That is, the characters are going to be talking, right? So I'm just going to send this. This is the response and then the title of our story is Go and Come Back, right? As you can see, we have scene one and we have the dialogue part. What Mama Chica is going to be saying followed by what Chica is going to be saying, right? And then we have scene two, like that, with what each of the characters will be saying. And then once we are able to get a perfect script, a dialogue scene for that purpose, the next step is for us to generate our images. And to generate our images, we'll just go ahead and tell ChatGPT, I said, write prompts to generate images for each scene, make it very bright and well contrasted in modern settings. It could be in pizza style, right? And this was the response I got. So we have the prompt for scene one, the prompt for scene two, and the prompt for scene three, right? So we'll just go ahead and copy the prompt for each of the scene. So I just copied for this one, for scene one. We'll come over to this website. It will ask us to log in. So just go ahead and log in. And then we'll click on this enter tool. And this is what we're going to see. So right here, we're going to paste our prompts. We're going to paste our prompts like this. Once we've pasted our prompt right here, we're going to click on this part and set the aspect ratio. We have 16 by 9 and we have 9 by 16. So let's go with 16 by 9 for the purpose of this tutorial and then we're going to click on this arrow button to send so this is going to generate the image for us the image i'm using is supposed to be in cartoon style pizza style right so as you can see we have that we have the images so if you are not comfortable or if you don't like what it gives you you may need to regenerate it right so this is looking really nice you are also going to repeat the same process to generate images for other scenes, right? You head over to ChatGPT, you copy the prompt for the second scene, like that. Then you head over to the website, paste it right there, and it will generate the second image for you. It will generate image for the second scene. This is how you're going to repeat for all the scenes you'll be using in your story. Once you are gotten your images, make sure you download them. To download, tap on the image like this, click on the arrow button right here you'll be able to save it directly on your device once that is done the next step is for us to animate okay to animate to get this particular app it's called grok so you go to your app store or your place to download it i have it already installed on my device so once it opens this is what you're going to see this is the mobile version 
right you're going to click on create videos and um, we'll just pick the picture you just pick the photo you want to animate and the way this platform works is once you upload your image it starts animating immediately it starts turning it into video you're going to wait for you to finish doing that before you now customize your image so we're just going to wait for you to finish right here we are having 47 percent 55 and then once that is done that's animated the image mm. can you see that but because we want it to lip sync we want the image to talk we'll just type what we want the characters to say you go to your chat gpt this is the way i do it please pay attention to this part i hope you enjoyed this video help me click on the like button leave any questions you might have in the comment section okay, i'll come back to where we have the dialogue right i'll just copy the dialogue part for scene one we have this particular this particular um, dialogue from mama chica i'll just go ahead and copy it so this is what i pasted here i pasted dialogue in nigerian accent and i said the woman says chica take this 500 naira go to mama uche's shop and buy granite oil to so wait for it to redo now let's see what we got take this 500 naira Go to Mama Uche's shop and buy ground nut oil. Make sure it's king's oil. We'll just go ahead and click on this download to save it. Okay, now that we have saved, we've saved it. We want to animate again to make the girl talk, right? We say dialogue in Nigerian accent. The girl is excited and says, yes, ma, I'll come back quickly. And then after that, you can just say the girl runs out of scene. We're going to click on this now and send. And wait for a few seconds for that to animate so once you're done animating the second scene you upload the next image you animate it accordingly like that accordingly to create different scenes then you head over to CapCut, just create a new project in CapCut, and then you import all of them import all the scenes you generated import them like that and then you trim off any part that is not necessary had other things you want to add auto captions and all of that and then you export your video so for the purpose of this particular training i use different images to create the full story or like the short story and that was what you watched at the beginning of this video so if you are still a bit confused don't worry just watch this video again and take it step by step and if you want a deeper understanding you can join my one-on-one -on -one mentorship program on ai video generation I'll personally guide you on how to create, scale, and monetize your AI content the right way. Just check the description box of this video for the link. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.